So this is the thing, is I'm not afraid of the things that you're afraid of because it's a phantom. It's, it's shadow boxing. I've seen witches get nervous. Why? Because they don't know how to handle a Christian that's not in fear. Okay, because they're thinking they can feel the edge. They can feel the edge you have on them. It's the confidence level. And um, I, I've done this, like where the flight attendants have had their palms red and their, you know, everything red on the airplane because, you know, you got, you know, the, the witch of the week up there in 3A in my section. And she's like, I'll do free readings for everybody. And I'm like, oh, here we go. And so I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm like, okay, we're going to have to get the pails of water and wet the seats because this is going to be a showdown, right? So all the, all the people are lining up. And I'm like, you guys, the, the, the devil's putting a sideshow up there right in my airplane at my job. You know, and I had been to heaven. How dare he? Do you know who I am? Yeah, do you know who I am? <laughs> So the flight tenders stand there, hey, they're like, hey, Kevin, do you mind? Like, can you cover my section or whatever? I'm going to go get mine read. I'm like, oh, this, there's nothing to this. There's nothing to this. I said, you want to see me stop her? She goes, no, you can't do that. She's like, all these people are saying, oh, yeah, you know, that's right, you know. Yeah. I said, watch this. I started praying in tongues. And she doesn't even believe in that. And most people don't. But I said, watch this. So I said, I'm just going to pray in my prayer language, as I said. So. And so she stops. And she goes, she goes, there's interference. Yeah. <laughs> and I go like this, and I, I hit the flight attendant. I go. <laughs> she, was, she, she finally, she just gave up. She goes, I can't do this. I said, this happens sometimes. I don't know why it happens, but I, I'm done. So she puts everything away. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, you know what? And she's, this, la- this flight attendant's my friend. And I'm like prophesying to her all the time. She's not even saved. I'm like telling her, you know, what God has for her every day. I flew with her what, for like two years because we all became friends. There was like three of us who flew together that we were crazy. That the company actually wanted to separate us because we were just having too much fun together. <laughs> That we just all got along. We did our all, all did our jobs and we had fun. And, but they, the other two weren't Christians. But they would sit and let me talk about God. The thing that was, is I knew that my God was greater. Okay. Okay, I know that. Whether you yell and say, yay, and you're like, oh, Kevin, Kevin, you know. No, it doesn't matter. Like, like if everybody left me, which everybody has left me in the past, when, when I didn't have anybody. I had nobody. I remember when Kathy and I were married, praying in the Spirit, working all the time, studying the Bible for, for hours a day, working all the time. And we would sit there and cry because we had no friends. And look at this. And I said, you know what? I said, we're getting treated. I, I said, I told Kathy, I said, we're like, we're getting, we're getting um, bombarded. The war was so bad. Like, I don't even want to talk about this. I'll start crying. It was so bad. And it wasn't that long ago. It was right before you knew me. And I looked over at her in her chair and I was crying. She started crying. I go, I go, you know what? We're getting hit like we're one of the big boys, you know, like one of the big evangelists, you know, in the world. You know, we started naming some people like Perry Stone, you know, and I'm like, I said, we're getting hit just like we're Perry Stone. So we might as well just go ahead and let it rip, man. So you know what we did? We said, we're going to work extra. We took double time. We bought TV cameras. I wrote my first book myself and published it. And a semi truck came with a full semi truck load of my books that I bought myself. I was my number one supporter. And the guy goes, who are you? And I go, uh, I'm an author. He goes, wow, you, like the whole semi, like, where do I put these? I go, in our warehouse, which is our garage, you know? And so he's like loading all these pallets in there because you know what? Because I thought if I'm getting treated as though I am a threat to the devil, we might as well just go ahead and go for it. So I wrote that first book. Okay, when I wrote the first book, 
I started handing it out and talking to people. Okay. And then people started reading it. And they think, hey, do you have another one? Can I give this a... And then finally, you see how it kind of got into what it is today. And then I realized, you know, I can just do my own little thing. And um, that's what we're doing. Okay, but the thing that was, is that my destiny... My ministry was my relationship with God. I don't know if you understand that. I, it didn't matter that I had a TV show or not. It all started with me and Kathy. We would take communion. We would fast and pray. We would, we would fast and pray. We would, we, would, we would wear our carpet out in our house from walking a path. And then just get new carpet and do it again. It got to where we grew so strong in the Lord that we felt like, man, if we go to church, we're going to have to pray like an hour before we go to church or I'm not going to be able to sit through it. Why? Because all of a sudden, stuff that was okay is not okay anymore. I'm like, that's off. And the Holy Spirit's grieved. And so like, I go, I got to go to the car. You know, I got to run out of the car, like, you know, like get a fresh breath. Because I was like in doubt and unbelief. And I'm like, oh my God, they waste an hour of electricity on that. You know, like I'm thinking like, oh, like, like, do you ever think that like uh, somebody spends an hour talking to you and it's like that electricity could have been used better. <laughs> okay. I'm not trying to be mean. What I'm trying to say is, is are you delivering life? Okay. Life is testimony. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And the demons, they don't know how to operate when you testify. Okay, so you need to testify of God's faithfulness because it's the spirit of prophecy. Yeah. You testify of Jesus and that spirit that is in your testimony is the spirit of prophecy. So that's, that's in the book of Revelation, right? Okay, so are, today, have you spoken where you want to go tomorrow? Are you talking where you're going? Because no matter what happens, I'm not going to change my destination. And I'm not going to misspell it. 